Hello. Welcome back. Or welcome for the first time. Because I am trying a Total War. And the Total War I'm going to try is Medieval 2 Total War. Uh, which is one of my favorite games. Um, and I've hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours in it. Uh, same with its predecessor, Rome uh, Total War. I played it. I had the CD way back in the day, uh, got it on Steam, and played a bunch of different versions. Uh, the Third Age Total War, which is Lord of the Rings, that has is still being updated through uh, Divide and Conquer and AOG, which are both substantially great mods um, for Medieval 2. If you're into Lord of the Rings, which I certainly am, um, but if you want classic medieval experience if you, if you want the the real medieval shit that the base game is if you want the base game but just amazing then you want stainless steel so i've done i i've i've probably got a couple hundred hours in stainless steel alone uh but i did just recently learn that uh, while stainless steel, uh, not necessarily abandoned, but was work stopped on it in 2017. Uh, but it has been spiritually continued in stainless steel his historical, historicity, historical improvement project. Yeah. Historical improvement project. Stainless steel historical improvement project, uh, is a mod that's keeping the torch going. Um, and I've uh, learned about it in uh, another YouTuber called The Terminator. Um, uh, he's been making a lot of really good uh, Total War content. Um, just keeping up to date on new and exciting mods. Uh, so he deserves all the credit in the world. Um, and I think he's a fairly new channel too. But that He just started appearing in my feeds and really well put together videos and uh, and so in all honesty that this is my first attempt at a Total War Let's Play uh, and it's because of him so he gets credit for that uh, um, one of the big things that made me want to do this okay, is apparently there's a script that William Wallace will eventually come in to Scotland so Needless to say, that's who we're going to be playing as, but uh, another big thing is that this is one of the only mods that I've seen that I know of, one of the only games too, in general, not just mods, where your difficulty actually changes gameplay mechanics. That is really, really cool. Um, with, apparently, Secession is not... Uh, set in stone in this game in this mod because in normal medieval 2 if your ruler dies you're good you don't you know the, the heir will inherit your realm isn't going to fracture or some bullshit but in real history you know every time the king died that if if the kingdom was ever going to fracture or civil war that was always the point so this uh they've kind of just brought a lot of features in from other grand strategy games like Crusader Kings and brought it into Total War. Uh, so that is really cool. So we're going to flex my Total War knowledge and I'm going to put it both on very hard and very hard for both battle and campaign difficulty. Uh, I don't know how it will go. Um, my only goal with this campaign is to conquer Britain. Um, at the, well, at the very least, conquer England. Um, become the preeminent power on the British Isles. Uh, so I've got it set to a short campaign. I don't know if we'd actually even pursue 20 regions in Jerusalem just so we can get the fancy little end credit scene. Uh, if we conquer the British Isles, I will feel secure. Uh, but it feels like there's going to be a lot of stepping stones on our way there. So... Um, I don't know if this flavor text is accurate for the time period. I think Stainless Steel Historical Improvement Project, I think they did change the time 
uh, yeah, we're technically Alba, which they've gone for uh, historically accurate names. So a lot of them are in Latin, like Regium Fran <laughs> Francae, uh, Imperium Romanum for the Holy Roman Empire. Uh, that's that must be Norwegian for Norway. I'm not even going to attempt. Uh, the Rus, pretty cool. Uh, Basilia ton Roman Romayon Romayon, yeah, nailed it. Um, so we are <laughs> Rio Gaharshid na al Alba. <laughs> There you go. There's my attempt at ga my attempt at Gaelic. Uh, probably going to be a lot of butchered names in this, uh, but I feel like the British Isles are always kind of the starting grounds to learn your way into grand strategy games. So it'd be the same here. Uh, this is just the splash splash opening scene telling me that hey, you're playing on very hard. You're going to be screwed. Um, yeah, some will be harder than easy, normal, or hard difficulties. And then later on, it will... Because uh, I did attempt a few turns, so I do have a little bit of an idea on what to do. Uh, by a few turns, I mean literally like one or two. Um, but, it, and later on, these splash screens will start to get like, Are you sure you want to play on hard, very hard? You can switch it back. No one will feel bad or worse for you. But, you know, I, I have never ever lost a total war campaign in the probably at least close to a thousand hours i put into total war games never lost a campaign it's just that's just not part of total war you don't lose campaigns so if that were to happen if i were to fuck up so bad that i did lose that would be kind of interesting so no we're playing on very hard and this is just thanking all the people who made the mod. Pretty cool. <coughs> Trait increase. Uh, Read David. <coughs> I think that's David. I think it's David Dunkled. I think is the is the house name for the royal family of Scotland right now. Um, but our leader's rule is not fully legitimate. Uh, so that's fun. This is him right here, King of the Scots. <coughs> King of the Scots. <coughs> uh, he is faction leader of Scottish blood, founder of a royal dynasty. Uncrowned. This man's rule is far from a sure thing. To become a true king, he must get crowned. To achieve this, he needs to conquer all the lands his ancestors claimed to rule over. See the map. Okay. He should have an authority and piety of six or more. And he should not either be a regent or viewed as a usurper. Currently, the realm of the stability of the realm is in danger. Ooh, ooh! I could recruit some Gallo Galich. <coughs> I assume that's how you pronounce it. Uh, God, the, these might be models from the base game. I don't know. That's that's the only thing about Scotland. Is I don't think a lot a lot of their models are just straight from the base game. They haven't gotten the love and attention other other factions have. Now their their higher tier units definitely have, um, but as far as like clansmen uh, and your standard Highlander sort of troops, not so much. Your um, let's see, we can just use him to do a little bit of scouting. In God's name. Let's try and find Very York. Good, sire. Very good, sire. Very Not good, up oh, there it is. Yep, yep, we found York. Okay. Let's uh go investigate good, this way. In God's name. Okay, so uh the only thing that really sucks about fighting this guy is that the map is completely dominated by forest. So that does suck. So now the question is, uh, that I, I haven't figured out yet, do we want King da I, I'm going to assume his name is David. I'm going to assume that's trying to say, I mean not trying, it's, it's in Gaelic, but 
I'm going to assume that means David. Yonric. See, who, who, who is Yonric? What a, maybe that's not even an anglicized wow. name. Or a name that can be anglicized. He's a genius? Wow. Okay. Superb admit. I mean, he's a... He's a good one to just plop in the, uh... In the thing. Schooled. Uh... Yeah. So I think we'll have... Ulian... See, is this like his title or is I think I think his name is yeah I think it's this is son of I, I don't know uh, <laughs> sorry anyway because um, it it makes a point that you want to put these generals into combat at least one combat so I think we will do that for the king uh, he's already set to lead this this army so. We'll bring him in, and we'll bring in, uh, William. William, William. We'll bring in William here. Uh, we definitely don't need... We don't need them. We could use some archers. I mean, this battle's going to go pretty easy regardless. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and pop a save. Our first save, Scots 1. That's one thing they made a big deal about, is that you want to save the game constantly. And we'll uh, go to the battle map and take a look at some of these units. Let's see if he's got any sort of speech to give. He's thinking about it. Out there's a man over there who's worthy of cleaning my horse's ass, let alone holding a sword. Let's do it then. Now that is a king I can believe in. Okay, um, we're going to try and flush them out into the open because I hate fighting in the woods. It's one thing if these games, newer Total War games, when you get close to the, the trees, the trees will disappear so you can see not not this game um who is yeah we got some of these pikemen so let's get them on the side get these raiders and get these get our claymores right there have some javelies on the flanks ready to flank have the king on this side and have this noble on this side and his retinue yeah, let's uh go ahead and what is that Stonehenge? Hey, look, it's Stonehenge. It's in Scotland. Um, let's go ahead and get these guys moving up. Let's see. I think I need. Uh, I can't. Can I do it from here? Yeah, I can. Uh, let's just move that up a little bit. Yeah, there we go. For some reason, the camera movement speed on. The campaign map is like lightning, like warp speed. I don't know what to do about that, so I'm just going to try and not move the camera as much as I can to save your guys' stomachs and mine. But yeah, that's, I mean, that is some good looking units right there. Who is this? Yeah, so this is, this is William. Not William Wallace, or I assume not. And his bodyguard. And then we got some... Galwayan, 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 Javelis. Uh, but again, these, I, the, I swear, these are just straight from the original Medieval 2, you know. They they haven't been changed any. Uh, some clansmen. Maybe they have, and I'm just wrong. Uh, Scott Spearmen with their swords there. I mean, <laughs> the faces and the hair is what's really screaming it to me. Because their, their outfits actually do look a little newer. Except I do think technically, in this era, Scots didn't wear kilts. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but... I think they still did wear plaid, but they didn't wear kilts. Uh, but, hey, it's a Scotland campaign in the medieval era. 
Yeah, we can, we can give them the kilts. It won't end the world. Um, there was our claymores. Some more javies. And then there's the King of Scotland right there. David. David Duncan Camore, I think is. I think that's who it is. Maybe not. Um, it is kind of interesting how it uses the modern flag of Scotland. But, because I I think, wonder if anyone's actually carrying the royal standard. Huh, I guess no one is. Um, I, think it's, I think I saw it on one of their shields. Oh, no, but it's the... It's the red lion on a yellow field is the, is the royal standard of Scotland. Um, but I think that this is the standard of uh, Edinburgh. That duchy that Edinburgh's in. I, again, I could be wrong, but I do believe that this is a historical flag of Scotland. Um, just one of the duchies in it. So... It do, I mean, it, it does make sense. Like, it does fit. It used to take me out of it once I realized that this was a modern flag of Scotland and that there was a separate flag for the royal family of Scotland. Uh, but I, I have come to learn that that is also a medieval flag, as far as I'm aware. Yeah, let's speed this up. Oh, yeah, and then we got a fight in the woods. Because these guys are fucking pricks. And won't come out. Yeah, you guys don't get anything. You got gray. Nerds. Look at this guy. This guy can't rule Scotland. This guy can't even rule that horse. The horse looks like it's about to just run away. Or keel over from depression from having to be rode by this guy. Alrighty, come on guys. Oh, we're already here. Cool. Uh, well, they're withdrawing even further. You can kind of keep track of it by spamming this, but it's all these trees. I wonder, can I turn? Can I turn the vegetation down? It, yeah, actually, that does kind of help. So sorry, you're going to have to deal with 2D trees just so I could see in this freaking battle. It is what it is. Oh shit. Er, yeah. Fucking run, guys. Alright. Shit's happening. Alright. King. Start moving. You start moving. Yeah, because they're moving in. I think our... Are you guys... Where's our... Oh, there they are. I don't think they're close enough. I can't see anything. I hate this. I hate this so much. You know what? Just charge into the uh, Spear Militia. If, if, I swear, if the King of Scotland dies because I can't keep track of him during this hell of a fucking battle, I'll cry. Why couldn't we have just fought over there on the fucking open plain, you motherfuckers? Alright, let's get this nice charge in. Come on, boys. You got giant swords. They do not. Are you... You guys didn't even really charge. Maybe because they're charging uphill? I think it's hard for them to get our actual charge going. Ugh, I can't see anything. I hate this. Well, shoot them, I guess. Because that's all I can see. Alright, charge into these. Come on, your majesty. Charge, 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 charge. Are you guys chasing? Where are you? Dude, I can't... This is... Oh my god, I, I hate this. I'm so sorry that this is the fucking first battle, but... It really is what it is. Uh, now you guys are getting charged. Well, if I could see, then I could properly direct my people around, but that ain't happening. Ooh, 
Uh oh, the king's being charged. Come on, man. Get oh, nope. He fucked off. Just everybody turn around and fight them. I I don't even. Uh, what is even happening here? Okay, well we're cutting through these guys. David, start attacking their general and try and kill him wherever he may be. Got a little cav on cav action. Guys, you can run. You can you can absolutely run. Get those spears in there. The king is in peril. Well, this guy's in peril. Jesus. Well, get the fuck out of there then. By the saints, our men have slain the enemy well, that's good. general. Without him, his troops will lose their will to fight. Oh, there's that. There's these guys broken now. I think because they're, uh. Oh, those are my clansmen. Okay. I think because they're. Rebels. I don't actually have to chase them down. I think if they lose the battle, they they dissolve regardless. The army does. I think this is the only unit left. Come on, boys. Track them down. Track them down. Track them down. Who's left? You, yeah, you. Well, go kill him then. The king's chasing down these motherfuckers. There we go. Yeah, we're uh, we're finishing that. It was more than enough for me. Cool. Get wrecked, nerd. Okay, trait increase. Soldier training. He has served as a squire? He's the king! Well, I mean, he should already have that. <laughs> he should have served as a squire. I mean, if I, if I take him out of the army and put him in the capital... But let's start fucking things up. You know what? We'll put him there and have have you go hold the fort. Um, we do have a little money to spend. We want to keep some of the bank, though. So we have to be very picky-choosy on what we want. Dirt roads are important. I kind of prioritize dirt roads in all of my campaigns. I just don't know if they're the most important in this one. I don't think think they are yeah especially with it being right there and there's literally no reason to ever go up here other than to get to I mean with that you'd have to think that would help trade along the yeah we're prioritizing roads I'm sorry um do we want to spend the extra no we 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 need to keep gold in the bank that is that is not even a question. Well, I don't think there's much we can do now. So we shall end the turn. The turns do kind of take a little while in this game. Uh, in this mod, at least. Um, which is just so funny uh, that other newer Total Wars, I mean, it's like lightning. Uh, so I don't know what they did in the newer Total Wars to fix that, because it feels like there's more going on in the new Total Wars. Uh, I think weddings do cost us money. So do we want to marry the prince? Is that worth an investment? <sighs> to be honest, I don't think it is. What I would like to do... Well, I mean, I don't have a princess, though, and I I doubt a princess is going to 
appear before me. Okay, we're going to do it. Yeah, that cost us a thousand. If your treasury runs empty, the cell swords, mercenaries, and other troops will abandon you. Yep. Attention, Octung. Other words, you are playing on very hard. <laughs> yeah, then it's just uh, pointing out that you really need to keep some gold in your treasury when you end your turn. Uh, and that uh, there's army supply systems and stuff like that. But I love this line down here. Why not play on hard or normal if it would save you from the frustration? Nope. <laughs> it's happening. I want to lose this. Okay, so the king is now attending court. Generals near the capital gain loyalty <coughs> and may be capable of managing the court in the ruler's stead. Interesting. <coughs> okay. Um, not much else to do other than put you back and... Let's see, how much are we gaining per turn? So next turn we should have around 5,000. Uh, how long do we want to put off the war with England? That's, that's the question. You know. I can't preach there, sire. So Wales is still independent. Godspeed. Or do we want to? No, we want to. We want to take care of England. In God's name. Time God's not spent at war with England God's is time wasted, God's as far as Scotland is concerned. Arrest now, sire. Okay, so we are in Mercia right here. So there should be a town somewhere. Let's see. Yeah, and then there's Essex, which should be London. This should all be the Duchy of London. Scottish Low Yeah, so they all get their proper names, but then Scotland's just Highlands Lowlands. <laughs> That's not how Scotland works. There's more to Scotland than fucking two two cities, man. There's more to it. And I don't know why maybe there's a hard cap on cities on the map, period. Uh but y you guys could have added some more to Scotland. Come on. Um Yeah, so Let's go let's go ahead. Or do we want to put them in better armor? Yeah, let's do armor. That's that's such a such a cheap investment for you know sizable gains. We'll do it. England! You dare approach the Scottish throne. I bring word from England. For trade rights! How about this? How about we get map information as well. We 800 florins per turn? D How worth it is it to us to know where all these English settlements are? I mean, it is worth something. I will give you 500 gold. No, we will not agree to anything like this. Okay, that it, well, I mean, that's better. Yeah, yeah, I think a thousand gold is worth knowing where all the English settlements are. To hear this. Oh, I bet he will. And I bet he'll love to hear about the Scottish armies coming for York. Um, promise not to attack faction. No. Definitely not doing that. Fruitful. You are well. our literal only method of expansion. Unless we wanted to invade Ireland, which, eh, Ireland's chill. Ireland's just doing its own thing right now. And they're Gaelic too, so... Crashes and how to live with them. Oh yeah, this is just warning you that the game crashes all the time. This version of the mod is not the final version. They're still currently working on it. And in a little bit I did playtest. The reason I quit was because it crashed. So I will be saving constantly. Uh, this is just describing the supply system and saying that it is part of very hard difficulty and if you want to be a bitch you can turn it off uh, declared they are at oh that's cool the papacy and the uh, crusader stites despite the fact that they have an entire sea between them uh, have declared that they're allies that's cool um, portugal and spain or castile leon and castile have declared a truce 
And Poland and Hungary have. Cool. Good for them. Okay, so we have a leather tanner now. So I think we can put these guys in better equipment. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I don't want to spend any more money, though. What we really need is an, a, a way to... And then... But is Edinburgh is kind of known for its castle, isn't it? So maybe that makes more sense that it's a castle. But we need some way to get out a diplomat. We are unable to talk to people, and that's just not cool. Uh, well, nothing to do but end the turn. I think as Scotland, we will be kind of running through turns. At least in the opening. Uh, while we're building up our strength to attacks England. Uh, I don't I don't even know if I'm going to really even create any more troops. I don't think the treasury can support it. Civil war in England. Anarchy reigns supreme in England. As the chosen successor of the late king has been overthrown by a usurper, the young nation may have thought they were only a few enemies on the Isle of Britain worth fearing. Wow. Okay, is that... I wonder if that always happens. Uh, commander should fight personally in battles. If a uh, general is not is the commander of your forces and he does not enter the fray, he will likely develop nasty traits such as cowardice. So, you really want to get your generals into the f like fray of battle, not just sit along the sides. As such, you will neither risk his time his life from time to time. Yeah. Uh, Note that at the beginning of the campaign, most factions will not have access to many of their units. These units will become available only later in the game when certain historical events trigger. For example, the Polish medium unit, medium caliber unit, Pokowski, or however you say that, will only appear after the development of heavy mail. Oh, cool. Grooming governors. Yeah, governors need to go to school. Uh, traits with Scholar will be able to develop the best of traits. Interesting. We got a thousand gold from the council. So the council pretty much paid for the uh, map information. So the council wants war as well. Me too. Trust me. We are not. We are not your enemy. Um, well, if that's the case, we could use archers. We could use archers. Not that, I mean, our archers are always going to be outclassed by England. You know what? Let's wait on it. Let's get the, is it one per turn? Or we, can we only retrain one per turn? Wow. That sucks. Let's move him to the front of the line then, because he's the most weakest. So we'd be three turns... And then a fourth turn. Yeah, we'll go ahead and put, and spring for the uh, for the bowyer. I would like to end this episode with us attacking York. So I may go ahead and cut it right here until something interesting happens a little later down the line or we're getting closer to attacking York. So, we'll do that. Alrighty, so move forward a couple turns and I think we have our army as ready as it's going to be we have the bishop down here keeping an eye on things and i think england is at a point that we can begin the invasion of northumbria uh, their civil war has ended though so i don't know hopefully they kick off a war with 
Yes, they are. Oh, oh my god, no. No! They're at war with, or allied with uh, France. You guys are supposed to be hated rivals. That's not cool. Well, I think we're doing it regardless. So we're going to send the prince. He's going to be the one leading this expedition. Uh, we shall send that, or that, 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 that in, and then joining our forces. That, 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 and send that in, and then. Okay, so we don't have a lot left defending Scotland. It's pretty much if this army gets destroyed, we're kind of screwed. Now, the next question. Oh, that is a steep, steep cost. And we are already in debt, so no. We cannot afford any more relations. <laughs> yeah, they're about to get bad. They are about to get bad. Uh, so let's start building up some siege rams. And see if Captain Edgar, with his Norman uh, Miles, Miles, uh, Norman Heavy Cavalry come in and attempt to stop us. Pop another save, and we shall end the turn. We will be losing money on this turn, probably quite a lot. I don't think it's just going to be the 600. Uh oh, that England is responding. Oh my god! Whoa! Okay, was not expecting this to come out of nowhere. Reginald the Beautiful has come to put an end to my plans. Wow. He has spent some time in school, he can read. That's unfortunate. Well, that means I can send him a very unhappy letter. You know, maybe make him afraid. Saxon Huskarls? They get Saxon Huskarls? Oh, I think they're a mercenary unit. Man, wow, England's really pulling out all the stops against me. Welsh Spearmen too? Yeah, they've got mercenaries. Wow. Man, Scotland is really outclassed at the beginning of the game. Oh, they, they have us so outnumbered. Outnumbered, outgunned. Wow. We're going to give it a shot. For Scotland, lads. For the king. This, uh, this campaign might end pretty quickly. Alrighty, let's form a defensive position as far back as we possibly can. We're going to Agincourt them, but we don't have the missiles. I uh, just want to make sure our... yeah, they're in the middle. That's all I wanted. Um, and then we'll have our Javis on the side. At least now I can see to make some you know, calls and moves and whatnot. We'll at least spread them out so it looks like we have more archers than we really do. Alright, let's take a good gander at what we're bringing to the table. There, we've seen them before, seen them before. These are our standard militia spearmen. Uh, I love, I love what they've done with them. They've got gambesons and akatons and uh, skull caps, big old kite shields. I love them. Uh, there's our levy militia. Oof. God, we're now. Let's take a look at the English army. I hope the monks enjoy their show, or lord, or whatever that is. If it's a palace. Oof. Yeah. And there's all the Ang the Anglo-Saxon. Uh, spearmen. 
it's, they're they're out 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 of date and outstyled with their round shields, but it won't matter if they're beating you to death with it. Uh, yeah, and then there's some Norman Norman heavy cav. Uh oh, there he is, Reginald the Beautiful. I think was his name, motherfucker. There's those Saxon Huskarls. I think those might be a base game unit. And then the uh, Welsh. Goddamn Welsh. Alrighty, we'll see what we can do. I ain't making no promises. Let's uh, bring our Javis. Oh, if we bring these guys out, they're just going to get. They're just going to get charged by the Cav. We'll just hold them there. God, when they <laughs> uh, when they get in the range, it's going to start getting bad. Well, they are moving their archers forward. I wonder if I could get a sneaky charge in. Oh yeah, th those archers are very exposed. All right, come on, you're the prince of Scotland. It's time to make make your daddy proud. You have literally the entire military and fighting force of Scotland at your back. If you fail, Scotland independence is all but doomed. Oh yeah, that's what you like to see. That's a good charge. Alright, back up, 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 run away! Flee! Flee, you fools! It's in our favor? Okay. I don't see how, but I'll take it. Okay. Actually, yeah, keep keep that on. Alright, come on, guys. Throw some spears at them. Okay, you're too late now. Oh my god, Jesus! That's just not cool. More Saxon Huskarls. There's so many. Oh, come on, Claymores. Gotta try and get their get the prince through here. Oh, don't get caught by the by the Huskarls. Well, they're gonna charge in there. Not much we can do about it. Come on, get through here. We gotta get this charge in. Oh my god, they're coming from all directions. Oh, they're coming from all directions. Oh, no. Oh, the prince is coming. Come on, boys. Couch lances. Yes. Oh, that was a good charge. Oh, that was a good charge. That's exactly what we needed, but you need to get the fuck out of there. The battle is very much in our favor. If we very much in our favor. That's a... That's good to hear. I don't see it, but it's good to hear. Oh no, our general and their generals met. And our generals... Oh no, the prince is in trouble. Oh, the prince is in so much trouble. Oh, the prince is in so much trouble. Come on, dude. Get out of there. You have to live. If he dies, the battle's just over instantly. My army will just run away. Come on. Alright, lower your lances. Oh, let me turn up the, uh... There we go. Now we don't have a little cutout. Oh, now run. Run. I'm keeping the keeping the prince out of the engagement at least. I don't know how I keep saying, "Oh God, get out of there, get out of there!" No, no, get out of there! Oh no, 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 not you, not you, dude! Oh my God, the prince is the only one left. Oh my God. Okay. 
Okay, we can't we can't risk his life anymore. It's literally just him. Oh my god. Oh god, it's starting. It's starting. Oh no. Oh no. Uh-oh. 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 Oh no. Maybe we could rally him. Come on. Get over there. Ignore them. You you can't do anything against them. This is this has been a big uh-oh. Come on, Claymores. Pray something changes in the course of battle. Oh no. It seems almost certain. Oh no, get out of there, man. Okay, okay, I think the prince is running. I think the prince is, is going with his tail tucked between his legs, and he's just going to try and survive. Yeah, this it's over. It's over. Wow, I did not know England had such a large army up north. Yeah. I that that's it folks. <laughs> yep, get out of there. Okay, you do know which which way to retreat, right? The it's it's literally right there. Okay. Yeah. We got some folks fighting to the death, but that's that's it. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Wow, England was no joke. I should not have... Oh, I should not have made such light of them. Wow. God, that is sobering. That is, that is humbling. Clear defeat. Let's see. I, I mean, he got that one charge was excellent, and he got a, quite a few kills, but whew, was not enough. Hopefully, he can escape. Oh, it's yeah, literally it. just him, though. The, the and they can probably just chase him down like a dog. Whew, oh, that's ooh, that's gotta be rough. Return back to Edinburgh with no army. <laughs> like, oh, we shouldn't have poked the English bear. Uh-oh. Wow, he is going all the way back to Edinburgh. Okay. All right, England's coming. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh-oh, we done screwed up. Oh, man, that's not good. That is not good. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, we are not we are not celebrating with a wedding after that. Cease hostilities. Uh, it, uh, okay. Okay, that is actually a saving grace. England just got that too. England cannot attack me without being excommunicated. The Pope literally just saved our lives. Um, poor disciplinarian. I mean, I don't know how he got that out of that. Fierce in battle, I mean, he really tried. He fought down to the last man and barely squeaked out with his life. So, I'll give him that one. <sighs> wow. That, that hurt. Um, okay, so a good chunk of the army did escape. So we'll get their retraining going. And I think that that's... Whew. Yeah, wow. Um, I think I'm going to call this episode right there. Uh, I do intend to keep going. Don't know what will happen. Uh, but I think the Pope did just, just save this whole run really by making by making it illegal to attack me thanks papa pope what does he think of me uh he feels neither ill will nor bad oh but i do have one more favor than england 
Yeah, he has little good to say about England, but he feels <laughs> no strong way on me <laughs> for good or ill. Placid, that's kind of an odd one. AI boost hard? What? What? <laughs> they don't need boosted. Yeah, actually, yeah, they do. The The base AI of medieval is pretty... Oh, oh, and we're immediately blockaded. Who would we even be... Tra are we trade... Do we have trade rights with anyone? I don't... Norway, maybe? It kind of looked like it was heading in Norway's direction. Uh, not Lithuania. Norway, no. The only other ones out there is... Um, yeah, the Danes, but nope, not trading with them either. Okay, yeah, so we'll call it there, and I'll see you in the next episode.